Assalamualaikum guys for a well. Hope you're having a great day. It's been a bit of a while since I have done anything on my YouTube channel or on my social media in general. And that's because I have not been too well. And if you follow me on social media, you will know why. I will share that on another um, video if I can, inshallah. But this video is mainly focusing on my boys. So today I decided to show you a little bit of a vlog um, of my kiddies birthdays. I wasn't actually going to do it because my husband was unable to come to the party because of his work. He's working out of town and yeah I just felt like I don't know how I'm going to do it without him. But I pushed myself and Alhamdulillah I'm glad I did because the boys enjoyed themselves so much and I, it was only fair to share it with you guys as well. So I hope you like it inshallah. I just want to say a massive thank you to my mom, my sisters, my aunties, everybody that attended. Thank you so much for making a memorable day for myself, for my boys. Honestly, we really, really loved it. So yeah, let's see Soban and Ismail be super nervous. Hi, so I just want to quickly say is my sister made the amazing presentation on her trays of goodness. Literally, the guacamole was, oh my God, to die for, which, in fact, I need to show you, inshallah, at some point. But for now, let's have a look at the presentation. It's so good. So in every party, of course, we need food. So we had biryani, we had samosa rolls, pasta, chips, uh, furfur, which is a got from an Asian shop. It was like basically crisps. Uh, what else do we have? We had chicken drumsticks. So yeah, I tried to make something that the kids will also enjoy as well as the adults. So yeah, you guys enjoy that whilst I have my healthy meal. <laughs> So I'm just making the imagination for the chicken drumsticks. Thankfully my auntie helped with put them putting them in the oven because I didn't have a big enough oven. And now I'm making the pasta, chicken pasta again for the chicken drumsticks and the pasta. The recipe for the link is in the de description below. Um so yeah, I just absolutely love this pasta and my boys, oh my god, they can eat this every single day. It's one of those. So, yep, made the pasta, over and done with. So, the table displays biryani, chicken pasta, rolls, fish masala, chicken fritters, chips, chicken drumsticks, oh my god, and the furfur. So, in every party, we need games. This time, I decided to make homemade fortune cookies. And the best thing about it is that I was able to add truth and dare things into there. So when the kids and adults um, open the fortune cookie, they either have a truth that they have to share or a dare. And it was super lovely. And the best thing was that it was unique. And I'm going to actually show you how to make these delicious fortune cookies. So first we need a silicone mat. I just had this macaron silicone mat lying around, so I've used this. Or you can just use a simple uh, plain baking paper. So in the bowl, I'm adding three large egg whites. Next, I'm adding three quarter cups of caster sugar. You can also add granulated sugar. And I always use measuring cup, guys, so I just, uh, suggest that you get some. Just whisking this now for about two minutes. Uh, until it becomes nice and frothy now i'm adding half a cup of melted butter and also one teaspoon of vanilla essence i 
and finally three tablespoons of water and I'm just going to give this a little mix until all the ingredients are fully combined. I'm now adding one cup of plain flour and I'm just going to whisk this just until that the flour is combined to the ingredients and that's all really. I'm not going to whisk it for too long, just for a minute. So it actually reminds me of pancake batter and that's exactly what it's supposed to be looking like. And next now I will show you how to bake this. So a tablespoon of batter on the mat and spread it like so. I'll show you it in details again, but let's see what my sister's doing. Sarah is giving it a go as well. How are you finding it? <clears throat> a bit like making roti. <laughs> Deformed. Yeah. <laughs> a bit square, a bit oval. <laughs> a bit of a map. <laughs> no, it's actually perfect. Yeah, I'm it's it's good. Is it can, good? I, can I switch from doing this instead of roti? <laughs> I'd rather make these than make roti. So like I was saying, a tablespoon on the mat, and then with the back of a spoon, just... It helps it to spread it evenly and so basically we need it not too thin and not too thick so it shouldn't be thin enough to see the mat these were quite thin so I did it again and basically made the batter so I could not see the underneath but not too thick as well so in the oven 200 celsius for 8 to 10 minutes so you want them brown on the edges as soon as you have the oven flip this straight away so once they all flip then you are going to add the no at this stage and make this into a semicircle so whilst the cookie is still warm you're going to use a cup to help it make the fortune cookie shape like so and then using a cupcake tray we're just going to put the fortune cookie in there so that it stays as uh, that shape whilst it becomes cool I'm going to show you that once more. So the fortune cookie has just been taken out the oven. I'm going to flip this. The reason why we do this is so that it is cool enough for the paper to go in. Once it's flipped, we add the note in. Then you make the fortune cookie as a semicircle. Then we add this to the cup to make the fortune cookie shape. And yeah just see how we do this like so and then once that's done we're then going to put this into the cupcake tray so it keeps its shape whilst it's cooled down and there we are I can see my little note in there it makes me so happy to see that this is all homemade and inshallah the kids are going to love this and there we go all ready for the party So next I show you the boys opening their presents, they got so many toys on my days um, and that was literally what they were looking forward to but I just show you a few clothes that they will most likely be wearing for Eid and accidentally they got a pair which they were already wearing which was super funny. <laughs> So good. Oh yeah, she did that. Oh, so nice. Oh, good. Oh, you really nice. So a beautiful message from the boys to their father. The best birthday ever. And we we missed Abdi but we got Abdi in our heart. Oh. 
thank you for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed this vlog please subscribe to my channel do also press that bell icon do also share with your family and friends and until next time i love is